हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर श्वेता आनंद एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सिंप्लीफाइड डेंटिस्ट्री टुडे लेट्स नो अबाउट बेनेट मूवमेंट बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द बेनेट मूवमेंट फर्स्ट लेट्स हैव द आइडिया अबाउट वर्किंग एंड नॉन वर्किंग कॉन्टाइट एंड फर्स्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट इज वर्किंग साइड एंड नॉन वर्किंग साइड सो वेन द मैंडबल मूव लेटरली दैट इज साइड टू साइड द साइड टू विच इट मूव्स is termed as the working side or functional side whereas the other side is termed as the non working side or balancing side or non functional side so the condyle on the side to which the mandible moves that is towards the working side is termed as the working condyle and the condyle on the other side is termed as orbiting condyle or non working condyle now let's see what is bennett movement Bennett movement is defined as condylar movement on the working side in the horizontal plane. So basically it is the bodily side shift of mandible and when it occurs it may be recorded in the region of the translating condyle of non working side. A condyle has either a working side or a non working side. The working side condyle can just rotate on its axis or move outwards and laterally this lateral movement is termed as the lateral trusion or mandibular lateral translation or bennett movement the non working side condyle moves forward downwards and medially that is inwards and this medial movement is termed as medial trusion during lateral movement the mandible shifts 1 to 4 mm towards the working side This is Bennett movement. It has also been termed previously as Bennett shift or mandibular side shift. If the temporal mandibular ligament of rotating condyle is very tight, there is no bodily side shift of the mandible and therefore no Bennett movement occurs. A definite timing may also be involved in Bennett movement. It can occur immediately, take place at the beginning or be distributed throughout the lateral deflection. this is termed as immediate early or progressive side shift respectively bennett movement is classified based on the timing of the shift in relation to the forward movement of the non working condyle that is the orbiting condyle first is immediate side shift here the mandible shifts before the forward movement of the non working condyle occurs and this movement occurs in 86% of the condyles studied second is precurrent side shift and this is the lateral translation that occurs during the first 2 to 3 mm of forward movement of the non working condyle the mandible begins to shift rapidly during the first 2 to 3 mm and then continues to shift in a less rapid fashion third is progressive side shift and this is the lateral translation that occurs after 2 to 3 mm of forward movement of the non working condyle and the shift of the mandible is gradual and does not change with time now let's see what is bennett angle the angle formed between the sagittal plane and the condylar path on the balancing side during lateral mandibular movements is known as bennett angle or lateral condylar guidance angle This angle is determined using lateral records or using Hanau's formula which is L is equal to h by 8 plus 12 where L stands for lateral condylar guidance and h stands for horizontal condylar guidance. Condylar guidance is described as the mandibular guidance generated by the condyle and articular disc traversing the contour of plenoid fossa. This angle can range from 2 degrees to 44 degrees with a mean value of 16 degrees. Thank you for watching this video and for more such contents related to dentistry please like share and subscribe to simplified dentistry.